do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did a numerical which was based on cell constant and now we are going to do the numerical based on cell constant the second numerical as mentioned in the screen a conductivity cell filled with 0.01 molar kcl solution gives a resistance of 604 ohms the conductivity of kcl is 0.0141 ohm inverse the same cell is filled with 0.001 molar agl03 gives a resistance of 6529 ohm calculate the molar conductivity of 0.001 molar agl03 solution so in this case let me tell you there are basically two solutions that they have been mentioned one is for kcl solution and one is for agl03 solution so first of all the thing that we have to do is we have to separate the data as for separate solutions so basically we are going to separate the data for kcl solution and we are going to uh, represent the uh, data for uh, separately for the agl03 solutions and let us see what how and why we could get the uh, required Uh, question. So let us see how can we do it. So the given data is for KCL solution. I have separated it, and for AgNO3 solution. For KCL solution, the concentration was given as zero point zero. One molar, while that of the resistance which has been provided is six zero four ohms, and the conductivity which is given to us is zero point zero zero one four one ohm inverse. While that of AgN O three for AgN O three, they have given us the concentration as zero point zero zero one molar, while that of the resistance that they have given us is six five two nine ohms, and for that. we have to calculate what would be the molar conductivity so this is what they have asked so let me give a short uh, idea that how can we calculate uh, this uh, molar conductivity of an agn3 solution the molar conductivity is related to k that is is related to the conductivity so in this case the thing that we have to find out is we have to find out the value of k but we can't get the value of k unless b and unless b which means cell constant is not being calculated first so for this case we have to first of all calculate the cell constant and if we have calculated the cell constant for this solution then only we could be able to calculate the value of lambda that is for the molar concentration of the agn03 solution so the thing that we are going to do now is for calculation of cell constant b we have the formula b is equals to k into r so therefore the value of k that they have given for ag for kcl solution this is for kcl solution that they have given us is 0.00141 ohm inverse into the value of resistance that they have provided us is 604 so if we calculate this to then the value that we could get is Zero point eight five one. So the value have a unit of centimeter inverse. Now this value of B will be very helpful in calculating the uh, conductivity for the AgNO three solution, which is required. So therefore, for AgNO three solution, now we have. b is equals to k into r so for agn3 the value of b will be the constant it will be constant for both of the cells because the both of the cells are being are of are same so therefore the cell constant that is b is 0.851 the value of cell the value of conductivity that is the value of k for agn3 is not known to us but the value of agn3's resistance value uh, the Resistance of the AgN3 solution is given to us is six five 
two nine. So with the help of this, we could calculate the value of k. So therefore, the k will be zero point eight five one divided by six five two nine. And if we have calculated this thing for, and this is for a zero three, just for. An instance I have written in this way so this will give us a value of 0 0.851 divided by 0 0.851 divided by 6529 will have the value of 1.30 into 10 raised to minus 4 so this is the value of conductivity that we have got and the value and the unit of this will be ohm inverse centimeter inverse and the help of this we could estimate the value of molar conductivity and for molar conductivity we have the, the formula capital lambda is equals to k into thousand divided by c so the value of k is now 1.30 into 10 raised to minus 4 into thousand divided by c in this case the concentration of agno3 was found to be 0 0.001 0 0.001 so if we calculate this the whole thing then what we could get is But the answer would be in would be for AgNO3 itself. And the unit for this solution or this will be ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse. This is the unit of the molar conductivity of AgNO3 that we have now calculated. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea how to calculate this kind of critical uh, numericals. So share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.